The orphanage where the abandoned children lived relying on each other. However, there was an unfortunate child named Raven who was isolated. Catnap, only you are willing to play with me. Uh. Huh? No matter how kind Raven was, she was not being loved. Get out of the way, you uh. freak! Oh. <laughs> Good night, children. Tomorrow we will go to play care. Oh, Raven, help your friends to sleep, okay? And then the children fell asleep. All right, kids, what's the time? Playtime! <laughs> Whoa, play care is magical! Hey, weirdo, where are you going? Let me go! <laughs> huh? Resisting? We need to teach him a lesson that he won't forget! No! Someone help me! Help me, please! <laughs> <laughs> when Raven woke up, she found herself alone in the <laughs> playground next to Catnap, who was lying still. Then help me come back to huh? life, Raven. <laughs> Catnap, how can you still be alive? Raven, I just need you to help me, and I will stay with you forever. How? One thousand children. I need the fear of one thousand children. Bring them to me. Okay, Catnap, I will help you revive. <laughs> An evil curse was born in Playcat. Daycare no longer had visitors and gradually became an abandoned playground. Only the curious or daring ventured to explore it, like the group of friends of smiling critters. Catnap? So, what if it is? <laughs> Are you scared? It looks really scary. Boo! <laughs> you coward! <laughs> it looks kind of cool. Wow! Look! It's still working! Hey, be careful! Huh? <laughs> huh? Playcare is cursed. Have you forgotten huh? it? What are you worried about? If anything happens, Sunny's pure.
your refined energy will push everything back. Let's play! The group of friends started to split up and explore the Playcare playground. Huh? They enjoyed the fun games. Wow! This game's fun! Let's huh? play, Crafty! It's not bad! <laughs> Unaware that danger was lurking, <laughs> their cheerful laughter gradually disappeared. The hidden danger silently caused the children to not even realize their friends were missing. Hmm. This mirror house seems safe, Picky. Huh? I look so funny, Bubba. <laughs> What's that on your head? Wait, something's wrong! Run, huh? Picky! <laughs> ah! It sounds like there was a scream somewhere. Stop trying to scare everyone. Poppy, I got the train started. Let's go! Don't worry, I'm here. The Playcare tour train departed cheerfully. How can this scary place be a playground for children? Red smoke? I feel a bit uneasy. Sunny! Sunny! What's wrong with you? Suddenly, a giant creature appeared on the railway. <laughs> what is that creature? It's chasing us! It's catnap! Speed up, kicking! I'm trying! It's no use! I'll fight it! <laughs> Get off! Go away! No! Help me! Ah! No, Kicken! Hoppy, hold on tight! I'll find a way to get us out of here! The catnap quickly called huh? Hoppy, even though Sunny tried to save her friend. The train entered a tunnel and disappeared, temporarily escaping catnap. <laughs> <laughs> Guys! Bubba! Picky! Crafty! Bobby! Where are all of you? Someone? A kitten? Why are you here? To play with you! Ah! No! Don't catch me! No! <laughs> In the end, no child escaped from catnap, and they fell into an eternal nightmare. They were all trapped in a place where their fears were harnessed to fuel catnap's power. But a miracle happened when Sunny's purifying power saved her from the binds. Where is this? Is anyone here? Guys? Suddenly, she discovered a girl lying asleep in the power concentration area. Oh, a spirit! <gasps> hey, who are you? Why did you get into my place? I'm Sunny. I was taken here by Catnap. Please help me rescue my friends. Rescue? Do humans deserve to be saved? Raven told <gasps> Sunny about her painful past. And how she lost her precious friend, Catnap. Huh? <clears throat> Why are you crying? What are you doing? Let go of me! <laughs> Why are you miserable and lonely? Let's be friends! Huh? Sunny's compassion activated her purifying power, soothing <laughs> Raven. <laughs> a friend? I never had a friend. Is the feeling of having a friend this warm? For the first time, Raven shed her toughness and became vulnerable in Sunny's embrace. Let's escape here huh? together, okay? I can't. I have catnap. I can't escape this cage either. That's not your catnap anymore. Now it's a demon. Don't you feel sorry for those poor children? They 
they did nothing wrong but are being bullied like you were before. Raven huh. thought about Sunny's words and decided to agree. Sunny, I'll get you out of here. Find Catnap. Take the moon necklace from its neck. Then call my name. Huh? Sunny waited for the right moment when Catnam fell asleep to start her mission. Huh? Raven, mission accomplished! What should I do now? The necklace hearing the <laughs> command guided Sunny, but the noise woke up Catnam huh? and made it furious. How did you escape? Stop right there! <laughs> Sunny tried to escape from Catnap, following the necklace's guidance back to the cell. The Catnap caught up. In the struggle, Sunny managed to throw the necklace toward Raven's spirit. Instantly, Raven was freed and entered Catnap's body. The captured children were released and woke up. <laughs> Sunny! Guys! Oh, I miss you all so much! I knew you would save us! Oh, look at Catnap! Huh? What's happening to me? Now, Raven and Catnap were separated, each in their own body. <laughs> Everyone, let's run out of here and destroy this cursed play care! Raven, you're not allowed to leave. We must be together forever. We have to save Raven from here. Led by Sunny, the smiling critters attack Catnap, <laughs> causing it pain and releasing Raven. Sunny quickly pulled the children and Raven away. Only Catnap, in pain, was left behind in the rubble of Playcat. <laughs> Raven, where are you going? Don't go back there! I can't leave Catnap. Sorry, Sunny. You guys just go first. Raven, wait for me! When Sunny and Raven returned, Catnap huh? laid still under the rubble. Catnap, I'm sorry. I'm back. Raven, you came back. Human, stay away from Raven. Let me help you. Sunny used her power to purify Catnap. Catnap was freed from hatred, transforming back into a small, cute kitten spirit. Raven, goodbye. Thank you for keeping your promise. <laughs> Farewell, Catnap. The curse on Playcare vanished, restoring the playground to its original joyful state. Let's take Catnap to its final resting place, Raven. Thank you for staying by my side, Sunny. It's so good to have you as a friend. Finally, Raven and Sunny return to their beloved friends. This is Anati. A girl who is not very confident in her beauty. <laughs> Are you guys talking about my looks? Huh? Um. <laughs> Anati only has one wish. Ah, oh, silence! I just wish, wish that I could be beautiful. <laughs> Do you want to become the most beautiful girl? Yes, I do! I really do! All right, then. <laughs> now you are the most beautiful person in the world! <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness! It was just a dream! <gasps> I'm late for work! In this 
this kingdom, as seems to be the case everywhere, beautiful girls are always valued. <laughs> So just being beautiful means men will willingly give you money? Huh. Uh. <gasps> Girls like Anadi, of course, never attract the attention of men. Anati is a maid in the royal household, a job considered menial. Today, she again has to serve at a party for... <laughs> Prince Nevan, it's an honor to meet you! <laughs> <laughs> I am... No need to introduce yourself. Do you want to be my new lover? See? What a lustful guy. <laughs> Unfortunately, Anati accidentally spills food on this girl. <gasps> Insolence! Darling, fire this little maid! Hmm. Please, Your Highness, if I lose my job, I'll have nothing left but begging! <laughs> You're fired. How could I <laughs> disobey a beautiful girl like her? If you're not pretty, you just have to accept the loss. <laughs> and so, Anati loses her job. She vents her anger and leaves without looking back. On her way home, she bumps into... Ah, you and Nivan would make a handsome couple. None other than the narrator, me. <laughs> Oh my! Who are you? And where have you come from? Monroe, the goddess of beauty, I've come to punish you. <laughs> you are too lustful. You disrespect women. A goddess <laughs> of beauty like me won't allow such behavior. <laughs> I curse you to disappear within a month. The only way to break the curse... You must kiss the most beautiful girl! Ooh, easy! I'll kiss each one of them! If you kiss the wrong person, that person will turn into a frog. You will also be face blind. You won't be able to see anyone's face. <gasps> if so, how? How will I know who is the most beautiful? The one whose true face you can see is the most beautiful. <laughs> <gasps> Nonsense. I'm still normal here. What? What is this? To huh. Nivan, everyone's face is now obscure. <laughs> but to everyone else, it's still normal. <laughs> Meanwhile, Anati... Oh, if only I had beauty, I wouldn't have to suffer like this. I wish I were beautiful. <laughs> the goddess of beauty has heard your wish. Hmm. I will grant you beauty, but you must pass my challenge. Gain the true love's kiss from Prince Nivan within a month. But in Nivan's eyes, you will be the frog face. Then who would dare to kiss me? Only then can you prove your inner beauty is worthy of the beauty I grant. Huh? I continue the story, telling about the lustful prince's situation and Anati's not-so-happy memories to convince her. Agreed! As long as I can be beautiful! Done! But first, you need to make over a little bit. King Nivan's father, upon hearing the news, summoned all the beauties in the kingdom. These are the last ones. Can you see anyone's face among these girls? No. Will I never see a beautiful girl again? Well, why not just kiss him randomly? Whoever breaks the curse will become a princess. 
Of course, no one wants to turn into a frog. And here, today's main character, Anari, already made Ooh. over by me. Oh, wow. Hmm. She was once a maid in the palace, a beauty beyond compare. Can you see her face? I... I can. I can. Kiss her now. Why hesitate? No way! She's a monster! Can't you see the frog father? Hmm. I know nothing. She's beautiful. That's the former maid, Anati. There's no one else. Absolutely not. Why not try living with her for a while? Then it's not too late to kiss. No means no. <gasps> You're the only heir left. Do as I say. Eventually, uh... the lustful prince had to succumb to the king's wishes. Ah! Oh. Since her makeover, Anati's <laughs> life turned a new page. Her old colleagues became friendlier, and the soldiers started <laughs> flirting with her. But with Nivan... Come on, have your meal. Ooh. Anadi still looks normal in real life. It's only to Nivan's eyes that she appears bizarre. How can I eat with her here? This is a typical case. <gasps> oh, 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 disgusting. No idea. I was just trying to swat a fly. Their meetings <laughs> continued to fail because Nivan couldn't stand the frog-faced girl. This I can't stand either. Leave me alone! The result of their dates was always the lustful guy running away. Oh god, so disgusting! So slimy! <laughs> I don't understand what's wrong with him. Thus, Anari failed to gain any affection from the prince. <laughs> what have you done to my bed? How can we talk if you just make weird noises? Don't kiss! Don't kiss! It stinks! <sighs> Thank goodness! It was just a dream! What's wrong with you? <sighs> oh God! Does that mean I'll never see beautiful girls again? The climax came one day. Where are you taking me? To the most romantic garden in the kingdom? No, this is... The place tied to Nivan's sad memories. He used to be very faithful. It's over? I left my bag of gold. Until Nivan caught his lover <laughs> cheating on him. <laughs> Women are all materialistic, all the same. It's only right for me to be lustful. Such a despicable break! I'd rather be a frog better than kissing you! No girl had ever dared to do this to Nivan. Enough! I'm going back! Better to be a frog than this! <laughs> Who's crying? Oh, why does everyone pass through my life and leave? Why doesn't anyone love me truly? I'm so lonely. He's always like this when he's alone. Huh? <laughs> if you're not willing to give true love, how can anyone truly love you? That night, the lustful guy <laughs> didn't chase away the frog-faced girl. From that day, Nivan started paying more attention to Anadi. He realized she was hardworking and capable, unlike the gold-digging girls who usually came to him. He became gentler with Anadi. Though he was still a bit uncomfortable with her frog-like face. No talent, just a bit of beauty, mm. and she seduces the prince. 
Yeah, probably just as greedy as his old flings. <gasps> Don't talk like that. A natty is kind, willing to be with me, not like you all. Nivan has changed. The two slowly developed feelings, but it remained ambiguous. Hmm. As the one month deadline was nearly over, <sighs> nothing had happened, worrying the king. But after seeing a happy wedding, he suddenly had an idea. If we organize a lavish wedding, maybe he'll be swayed to kiss you. There's only one day left, no other choice. Mm. Who's that? Is that you, father? I knew you wouldn't agree. Seize him. Let me go! I'm a prince! <gasps> a wedding hall? Why so many people? Kiss the bride quickly. Time is running out. Hmm. A natty? Why are you dressed as a bride? Forget the formalities. Kiss the bride now. But, but... The deadline is near. Are you still hesitating? Seeing her pleading face, Nivan remembered all their moments together. Anyway, no one's objecting to the wedding. I object! <gasps> of course, I have to appear at the most dramatic moment. Goddess Monroe? Why? Can I see your face? <gasps> Wait! If Nivan sees me as a frog, then he can't see my true face! <laughs> but Nivan can see your face! Because I'm the most beautiful girl! Who could be prettier than the Goddess of Beauty? I'm the one Nivan must kiss. It's all my challenge! You are no longer lustful! Your reward is marrying me! <gasps> really? Really? <gasps> so, I was just a tool for you! Oh heavens! <laughs> Kiss the goddess, Prince! That maid girl can't compare to the goddess! Right! Choose whoever prettier! Mm. Silence, everyone! She's a thousand times better than all of you. She understands my feelings. Even if her face looks like a frog, she loves me truly. I... I... Nivan! The deadline has come! Oh, God! Please, kiss Nivan! Then you'll remain a frog for life. <laughs> it's okay, as long as he lives. No. I don't want to kiss someone I don't love. And so the curse was broken. <gasps> I... I'm not face blind anymore. Oh, I forgot about this girl. <gasps> Congratulations! Both of you passed my challenge. The person you had to kiss was still a naughty. The one you love the most is the most beautiful girl. But why does my face still look like this? You were already beautiful. You just lack confidence. I only made you up before. Besides, beauty isn't in the cheeks of a maiden, but in the eyes of a lover. <laughs> See, appearance is just a facade. The most important thing is the person inside. Thanks to my play, the whole kingdom changed. Every girl is beautiful in her own way. But the most beautiful girl is still me. Hey! 
Just kidding, right? <laughs> Princess Firefly Lucinda just finished a day's work. But it seems she's in trouble. Look there, a firefly princess with such ordinary wings. The whole firefly tribe doesn't have anyone beautiful. <laughs> Dare you mock the firefly tribe? It's only morning and already so noisy. Knowing Lucinda isn't beautiful, but still teasing her. Oops. What did you say? That's it. They always end up arguing whenever they meet. Lucinda is a diligent firefly princess. She's always the earliest to start working as soon as the sun sets. Everyone go to the other side. I'll go to this side. While Lucinda is working, an uninvited guest arrives. Mabel, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm here under the Queen's orders to supervise the flower garden. It's too dark. I can't see anything. Huh? Knowing Mabel is deliberately showing off to the Queen, Lucinda still tries her best to do her own work well. Look at my butterfly wings. They have both color and sparkling light. I don't have time to show off like someone else. So, I don't need to tell you. Everyone already knows. The Queen organizes a party during the day. Lucinda takes time off to attend. Mabel, come sit here with me. <laughs> no one cares about Lucinda's lack of beauty anymore. All attention is on Mabel. They gossip that Mabel will become a goddess and succeed the queen in the future. Mabel is so beautiful. <laughs> Your Majesty, will you make Mabel a goddess? Oh, is that what they're saying outside? Do you want to become a goddess? Huh? <sighs> The Queen gives Lucinda a chance, <laughs> with the condition that she must prove her talent and earn the respect of the fairies. I will visit everyone regularly. <laughs> Lucinda changes her working hours to daytime, even though she's a firefly. The pollen will make my wings colorful. <laughs> Keep trying, it's useless. <laughs> then I will make everyone admire me. Huh? But no matter how hard Lucinda works, she can't compete with the fairies who are used to collecting pollen. It's too hot, too dazzling, too blinding. The scorching sun makes her uncomfortable. Lucinda rests in the shade. Intentionally pretending to be tired, so we have to do extra work. <gasps> 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 The fairies tell Mabel their story, unexpectedly. Last time Lucinda showed us the way, consider it my payback. <gasps> hmm. Just a few baskets of pollen. We're fairies, not fireflies, to be compared with. The princess is truly noble. The fairies tease each other. They didn't expect. Lucinda is resting huh? below. Ah! 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 Oh my! Why are you lying around here? Sorry me quickly. Did I tell you to lie here? Huh? It's unreasonable. Huh? The fairies all sided with Mabel. No one stands up for Lucinda, leaving her feeling lonely and dejected. Are we going too far? It's her fault. Feeling huh? sad and lonely, Lucinda returns to the Firefly tribe to visit everyone. The Firefly tribe is diligent but not recognized and always bullied. At all costs, I must become a goddess to restore justice for the Firefly tribe. In this land, there is a forbidden place that no one dares to approach. Which wind brought the Firefly Princess to this desolate place? Sir, is there a way to make my wings colorful? It's simple, but... Whatever it is, I agree. <laughs> Guess what condition the witch will propose to Lucinda? The princess has returned! Huh? From now on, I won't leave anymore. From then on, Lucinda rests <sighs> during the day. Why don't we see Lucinda today? She's lazy to work. At night, Lucinda and the fireflies diligently work. Everyone catch insects. I need them to fertilize the plants. Everyone loves and trusts her unconditionally. Even though Lucinda's actions are very strange. By now, you may have guessed Lucinda's deal with the witch, haven't you? 
The deal begins. These insects will help me gain power and help the princess get what she wants. <laughs> <laughs> the fairies don't know that their worst nightmare is about to begin. The most confident thing they had, their colorful words. Now become ordinary, dull. Instead, Lucinda is getting closer to her dream. <laughs> Don't harm her! Don't worry, I'll just knock her out. Then I'll take her back. Huh? <laughs> Every day, a fairy silently disappears. Lucinda's <laughs> wings shine even brighter. Which surprises the Firefly tribe. The princess's wings are so beautiful. <laughs> Why is this happening? But when Mabel asks who's capturing the fairies, everyone shakes their heads. That person uses power to blind us. When Lucinda appears huh? with colorful wings, Mabel starts to suspect. Where did the colors of your wings come from? Of course, I collected pollen. <laughs> <laughs> While Lucinda's not paying attention, Mabel has been watching her all along. Hmm, I only see you playing around, not doing anything. Mabel follows Lucinda all day, finally discovering. <laughs> <laughs> heck is this? Lucinda, I won't <laughs> let you get away with this. Mabel plans to return and report to the Queen. Mabel, were you spying on me? If not, how would I know you're dealing with a witch who harms the butterfly tribe? Lucinda lacks colors to become a rainbow wings. And it's convenient to have someone come to offer herself. Ah! Lucinda, what are you waiting for? Ha! Unbelievable! The witch can't forgive those who know mm. too much. Let her live! If she lives, our deal will be exposed. Just keep her locked up until I become queen. The witch agrees to Lucinda's request. Hold on. Your wings are not huh? yet complete. The witch says to maintain the rainbow color on her wings, Lucinda must capture someone from the Firefly tribe. So he huh? can take all the light from the Firefly tribe and transfer it to her wings. No, I won't agree. The Firefly tribe always loves and respects eh? her. Lucinda's huh? determined not to let the witch take advantage. <clears throat> if you defy me, you'll lose everything. Don't even think about touching the Firefly tribe. <clears throat> Huh? This is just a warning. If you don't listen to me, your wings will lose their color too. <laughs> the witch threatens that if she doesn't obey, he will spread rumors that Lucinda and the Firefly tribe are plotting against the Butterfly tribe. By then, the queen will be angry and the Firefly tribe will be doomed. What have I done? I've harmed the Firefly tribe. All I wanted was for the Firefly tribe to be treated fairly. <laughs> hmm? Why don't your wings shine? What happened, Princess? <sighs> Nothing, I'm fine. Hmm? Please don't hide anything from us. <sighs> Lucinda confesses everything. She will bid farewell to the Firefly tribe and risk her life to defeat the witch. <laughs> we will help you defeat the witch. I won't let the Firefly tribe get involved. Fighting huh? against him and you can't win. Mabel, why are you? Didn't expect to escape and come here to catch you, did you? It turns out Mabel was imprisoned by the witch, but she managed to escape. I will go to the queen and confess. The queen is nowhere to be found. What trick did you pull? Huh? Maybe it's the witch's doing. Mabel, let's join forces to find her. 
<laughs> Though not believing Lucinda yet, Mabel still agrees because she wants to find the queen. <clears throat> Bring the queen out. Mabel, you're so naive. Following Lucinda to defeat me, then she'll <clears throat> become the queen in the end. He's trying to sow discord between us. Mabel! Lucinda, huh? you have protected the Farfly tribe. Now we will protect mm. you. <clears throat> the power of the Firefly tribe is hard to compete with the witch. <laughs> Mabel, please help us. <clears throat> because of my greed, I took away the collar of the Butterfly tribe. Now I'll return it. <clears throat> I will stay here to pay for my actions. Please take the Firefly tribe back. Do it yourself. I'm not free. <laughs> the Butterfly tribe should reunite with the Firefly tribe. <laughs> but the witch didn't know that if both tribes united, something unexpected would happen. Huh? Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Huh? Your Majesty. Why are you protecting him? I will explain everything. It turns out Mayo in this dark swamp was harming pests to protect the flower garden. Over time, people thought he was a witch and avoided him. The queen asked Mio to test Lucinda if she came here. On this occasion, she also wanted everyone to understand Mio and the Firefly tribe deserved respect. Lucinda. Though you made mistakes, you corrected them huh? in time. I will give you a chance to become a goddess alongside Mabel. I will try my best. From then on, Lucinda always diligently did her job well. <laughs> hmm. Lucinda and Mabel changed for the better. Occasionally, <laughs> Mabel would invite Lucinda to collect pollen together. But one thing for sure hasn't changed. That is the secret. No one should reveal it to anyone. That secret is, Lucinda is allergic <laughs> to pollen. <laughs>